St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise Newspaper and the Forest Center TV Video Production Program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. St. Mary's County public school officials have decided to continue to waive fees for first-time SAT test takers due to the percentage of juniors that took it last year being up roughly 30% from the 2017-2018 school year. Alex Javers, the Assessment and Accountability Officer for the school system, stated that the goal was to help underrepresented students expand opportunities for their futures by taking the SAT. On Tuesday morning, the St. Mary's County Commissioners approved Recreation and Parks Department request for a memorandum of understanding with the Maryland Stadium Authority that would outline their role in feasibility study of building a sports complex in the county. The plan includes an indoor field house and nine multi-sport playing fields on county-owned property, four of which would be synthetic turf fields. The St. Mary's County School Board has recently approved a $66,000 contract extension with the Center for Children, a mental health service provider that assists many public elementary schools across Southern Maryland. These mental health sessions are said to be just like normal therapy sessions where they help many students who are struggling with their behavior or trauma. The school system has been incredible to work with, says Catherine Mayers, the Center of Children's Executive Director. They have really bent over backwards to work with us to accommodate our needs. This newly approved contract will last from January 1st all the way to August 31st. Great Mills High School went up against Chopicon on Friday afternoon. The Braves would eventually prevail in a penalty stroke shootout that came down to the last shot. Chopicon's Jamelia Shannara beat Great Mills goalie Lily Wood on the Braves' first attempt of the shootout. Then, Great Mills Riley Stanford immediately answered with the equalizer. Wood and Braves senior goalie Blair Villandingham were determined through the next three rounds of attacks. The two squads had played to a 1-1 to -one tie through regulation and two overtimes, with hosts taking the penalty stroke round 2-1 to -one to win the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division Contest. It was a great battle between two really good teams, Great Mills head coach Hannah Morse said. We knew this was going to be one of our toughest games. Even after we fell behind 1-0, we just kept fighting. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. That's what we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. Signing, signing off. off.